Welcome to the Devoid Forest, which is a level pack that seems to be about all of these custom words, which I've mostly never heard of, except for karma. We also have morality as a piece of text there. What do we have here? Text is text underscore. That doesn't even do anything. What about text is text all? Okay, so text underscore kind of like upgrades the quality of all of them. So text is text underscore all makes everything, well, text underscore all, I guess. I mean, I can also set up text underscore text, and then it will target the piece of text called text. So that turned it- what the heck just happened there? Okay, that is very strange. Like, pixels grew on top of the- whatever. I guess pixels include in all, so if you do text is all, then pumpkins get included. That's so weird. You could also do, like, text is- text underscore is, and then everything turns into is. Hmm. Oh, I see. If you do text underscore all is stop, then that only targets this piece of text to be stop. And that means that the rest of the things are no longer stop. So we can do, um, do we, wait, do we want to, do we really want to make this statement? Morality is done, huh? Your deepest sins. Wow. All right. Luxuria. Vine is luxuria. Apparently that means lagzy, lagzuria. <laughs> And apparently, if I change, uh, if I get rid of this rule, it changes color. I'm not sure what it does. Right now, it says not vine is open and vine is shut. So any object will open the vine, which is basically sacrificial, which is bad. Probably want to say pumpkin is luxuria. What the? What? What is this interaction? Is it? And so it, it pulls text is what it seems to do. Do we want vine is you? What is even going on there? Does it pull anything? No. Still kills it. Hmm. I mean, it seems to pull the... It's pulling, like, leaves and such in the f in the background, but it doesn't pull this grass. Because grass is still. So that's why I can't pull this. Uh, nor can I pull the wall, because wall is still. Hmm. And vine, of course, is still. Isn't it cursed to have a custom property, and then make, like, three rules in level that negate its effect? Okay, but actually, I think I realize what it is. It's kind of silly because you don't get to see the evidence of this happening but okay look at how after destroying this text because both text and not vine which means any object basically is open there is still a, i can open two pieces of vine why can i do that it's because i stacked a background object with luxuria so in fact because luxuria Luxury is like, that means like luxury, right? So it like, it's like hoarding stuff. I don't know if you want to theme it that way, but it means that I can then pull luxury onto me. But this is not just luxuria now. This is like six objects stacked on, like the, both the text and all the background objects, which allows me to, you know, open all of it, basically unlocking using the background objects. And now I have pumpkin is win. So there we go. That's the first level. All right, next. Gula. In other words, gluttony. So, Hedges Gula. Well, kills us. But that's because Pumpkin is weak, not for any other reason. There's a rose, and because Pumpkin is weak, standing on the rose kills us. What does it mean, Hedges Gula? Yes, I mean, I guess it's a different color, whatever. If Hedge is broken, well, we still die because freaking Pumpkin is weak. But wait, what if we can do... No, damn it. Freaking rose. What, what does Gula mean? <laughs> hmm. Like, I was thinking we could do maybe... Hmm. It seemed to sacrifice. It seemed to eat the hedge, did, didn't it? Gula, it's it's gluttony. So I guess it makes sense as a thing that like eats everything or whatever. So I guess we do pumpkin is gula, hedges. Wait, wait. Hold on. What, what the hell do we do with this freaking rose that's stuck on it? Just annoying now. Hedge is broken. Oh, we probably spend Gula here for now because we do hedges broken to currently we got the whole hedges stop thing, but we can put this here, pumpkin is, and then set up pumpkin is Gula. And because that means gluttony, we should be able to eat the hedge. There you go. Very nice. Now we can even eat like the fence around wind. Probably don't eat the text though. All right. We can even eat Gula. <laughs> Lol. And then we can make a... We can drag the win over here. Pumpkin is win. Cool. Greed. Avaricia. Okay. Well, which sounds like avarice, obviously. 
So leaf is defeat and this negative property, probably. We can change it to say pumpkin is shift. That's... That's not an interaction of avaricia, I think. It's just being able to shift the leaf away, and, and as it so happens, it's also shifting text. But I don't think that's relevant. I don't know what this means yet. Base is win in avaricia. Where the heck is base? Base is on the other side, blocked by a hedge, which is stop. Um, I don't know. Maybe we should make ourselves avaricia. Maybe we can see what that, the hell that does. No effect, seemingly. No, this fence is not actually stopped, so we can do that. So, I mean, we can use the leaf to shift some of the stuff away. Like, we can probably break the vases, avaricia. But again, I'm not really sure why we would be doing any of this. If I don't know what freaking avaricia does. But yes, we can do that. Wait, we can do leaf is win. What? What? I mean, okay, we can we can do um leaf is shift. Probably over here, actually. Leaf is shift. There we go. Which shifts the avaricia away. And now do leaf is win. Chest of battle advanced. Um, actually, you know what it was? No, I think I know what it was. So notice that both of these are defeat, right? Both of these are defeat, but for some reason, Pumpkin is not defeat. Why? It's because Avaricia is stealing the defeat. Like, oh, I'm defeat, so nothing else can be defeat. It's funny this is the greed mechanic, <laughs> because uh, this is the same as every Pence, which is a pack that I don't even know if I'm gonna get around to finishing the re-edit, or if it'll happen at all. But this is a very legendary level pack, and one of its worlds, so like cutscenes and lore and custom music, is greedy, <laughs> which does the same thing, basically, as that mechanic. Definitely feels to me like this like an intentional mechanic and callback, you know? But technically, I don't I don't see the credit anywhere. But yeah, see, Leaf is win, but Vase is win and effectively greedy, so it, uh, it's like Vase is the only one that can win. Anyway, that's why uh, what I did in that level was not, in fact, cheese. <laughs> there we go. Okay, the next one is called Sloth. What do we have here? So, Fungus is a... Asteria. Yes, I'll call it that. What does that mean? Fungus on text is win. Um, it's pro- it's sloth, so it probably doesn't want to move, maybe. Hmm. Fungus is defeat and you. Well, it just certainly doesn't freaking feel like it's you, because it's not moving at all. So maybe Asteria just means that it can't be you. Yes, okay, so then if I break Fungus's Asteria, then it becomes you. Like, it becomes actually able to be you. Which also means it's defeated. Which just seems like a bad idea for us to uh, allow it to be defeated. So I can do Rose Mimic Text, which will allow it to mimic the pushing property. Not sure if I can do anything else with it. Although... Hmm... Fungus on text is win. If Rose Mimic text, then this could win. But how do we prevent this defeat stupidity? And is there a way to break this statement? It doesn't feel like it. Hmm. Can't get anything a mimic pumpkin. It doesn't feel like text is a study would do anything. Because again, text is already not you. So why would it matter if I put a property on it that is that makes it not you again? Well, I guess I could do fungus mimic text. Right? Oh, but now Rose is not mimicking text properly. Hmm. And more important, also because it's mimicking text, it can push be pushed around. But yeah, uh, we broke Rose mimic text, so clearly the Rose is not acting as text anymore. I kind of want to put a piece of text on the Rose, but then that would be push. So I don't know. Hold on, I want to... Whoa, wait, what the? Didn't know it did this. So it's also not push? Well then. So text is steady means that things are not pushed as well as not you. Well, but we can't break text as a steady after making it, pretty sure. We do fungus as a steady and then, I don't know, roses text. That'd be something. And then if we did text as a steady, well, hold on. No, breaking this would suck. And we, we want ro fungus to mimic text so that it mimics the part of the text that is not you. But then we want the text to become a sedia so it's not push, right? I think this should work as long as fungus doesn't freaking move. But yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like, fungus mimic text and text can't be pushed because of text as a sedia, so the fungus won't be pushed either. B Spaghetti monster, why? Why, do, why did we lose... Why did we lose the win rule? Why? It, it seems like either fungus or text being a sedia prevents you from winning. I mean, there's, there's, by the way, a fungus on here. It's so weird because when I do this, I mean, look, 
I can't tell if Texas Assetti is really the one causing because fungus mimic text, but it seems like I'm screwed no matter what. It feels like maybe I want Rose to mimic text while standing on a Rose plus fungus, but then I would still have to deal with the freaking fungus as Assetia, which makes it freaking impossible to win. And I can't use this mimic twice, I think. That's just bad mimic logic. <laughs> okay, after a coma, um... Okay, someone explain this nonsense. I change from fungus as Assetia to fungus mimic text. Why am I still dying? The mimic text should- oh. Oh, because fungus of defeat's not gone. Wait, what the? If this doesn't even break fungus of defeat, how do I even win? We're trying to not be defeat here. Upsetia. Also, I did check, and uh, Assetia's actual meaning is uh, just like, it's it's basically as it was freaking expected. Not defeat, not you, not win, and not push. <laughs> okay, second session later, and um... Like, basically was looking at a screenshot of this video idly, and, uh, I think I have an idea now. So, it is indeed, like, we are just going to hijack the fungus on Texas win and make it say Rose on Texas win instead. So we do this, stack this, now we are going to want fungus mimic text, so, here. Because remember, we can't break fungus's acetia, so we need to do this, and then do Rose's text. Now, Rose on text is win, which will be the one that we actually care for. So, oh, but, hmm. Hmm. I realize that doing fungus as Rose here is sucky. Hmm. It's really possible. Let's, let's grab this mimic text thing and grab it out and take it out. We do fungus, remember, because fungus is still there, so it's this fungus mimic text. And now we can do fungus as Rose. Now, this Rose has no defeat condition, so all I need to do is have a piece of text on it. And then text is Assetia. Probably. Oh my gosh. It almost feels like, I don't know, like the the bottom right level wasn't freaking used. Uh, arguably Assetia was not used very much at all. Also, apparently it's supposed to be pronounced Assetia. Like, seriously? Assetia. <sighs> ah, fungus is ace die. Ah, that makes sense, yeah, and so text is ace die, makes them all aces of diamonds. Ace die. Anyway, let's check out this other level. Well, it's not like we have a different choice, but wrath. Uh, well, there's wind, and, okay, so immediately, Ira just got broken, so we probably won't- wait. Hmm. What? Can we not do anything about this? Break wind is move. Hmm, and wind near pumpkin is auto, so, okay, so then I just need to move out of the way, right? Yeah, okay, if I move out of the way and don't allow near pumpkin is auto, because wind is move plus wind near pumpkin is auto. Both of them, like, those stack, and that was why the wind was sometimes going two times a turn. In fact, if I get next to it, it will still move, because auto is very similar to move. Well, anyway, now that we've kept our IRA investment, let's try to get past the bog. The bog is currently, uh, bog is a feat. Interestingly, though, it's not still, so I should be able to just do bog is move. Oh, there's bog on this tile, so that breaks the IRA. Though it does let us get back, which is interesting. I don't want it to be still. Though that, it's very interesting that we seem to have the ability to stay. It implies being able to like... Nope. No, no, we don't have the time. We can't break the move and then like, it's gonna turn to still next turn, so that's not good. But doesn't it look like you can shove text- no, no. No, brick is stop. That's right, okay. Because brick is stop and there is a brick in the middle, I'm not able to make this push over the bog. So, seemingly we actually do just need to get rid of the bog. Uh, new session. This is a really weird interaction. So, I notice that I'm destroying the wind, and there's currently no reason why that wind should be being destroyed right now. So something about pumpkin is era allows you to destroy stuff. And, I mean, I, I first did this because I was trying to make wind is move and still and wondering if it would change direction, but it doesn't change direction if it's still. So then I really didn't even need to make a move. I could have just done wind is still and then... Wait, what? What is this spaghetti monster? Why? It doesn't destroy when move is gone? So, so era might be about movement actually? What the hell? I... How just this is this mechanic this hidden mechanic is a bit too out there. So that means if I do bog is 
Sigh. Okay. So, and of course, you know, it, whoops. Um, if it was only Bog is still, then freaking no effect would happen. Well, okay. We can now do Wind Near Pumpkin is Win, and then we have another Pumpkin is Era. I guess uh, here we have to just do Wind is Still without being moved, and then we can stand on Win. What a. What. What. Sure. The mechanic is that you can get to kill objects that are move. But why is it about move? Then you put still on it to confuse everyone because still it negates move. Anyway, next level, NVIDIA, which sounds way cooler than what it actually means, Envy. So Reed is NVIDIA. Where, where the hell is Reed? Friggin' Reed is off in the wilderness. Um, um, okay, we can do water is NVIDIA instead. What the? Okay, so... I see. So, once you do Water is NVIDIA, Pumpkin is you got disabled. So, I guess NVIDIA means that it takes away the you. What, what, what just killed an object? I think we're trying to kill objects. The, the water, right? Because imagine we kill all the water, and then the Pumpkin is you comes back, probably. But what, what exactly can we even sink here? Oh, water can sink itself. Okay, and now, since we've got rid of all the water, the Pumpkin is back under our control. Hmm, hmm, that didn't feel... Well, we have access to the vase now, maybe. So we can do vases read. Yeah, okay, now read is win. I imagine that read was blo... Oh, why is read push? That's annoying. Oh, all is stopped, duh. Okay, so I guess we just need read to be used. So I do read is NVIDIA, and that wins the level. Interestingly, lamp is push also got disabled at the very end. Did you see that? It probably like, steals more properties, to be honest. All right, well, anyway, superbia. All right, so... Oops, we're, we're dead immediately? What's going on here? Hmm. So, Pumpkin is Superbia. I... Just get that out of the way first. Okay, so first of all, Pumpkin facing Reed is defeat. So, if I go here, I'm facing the Pumpkin... And the Pumpkin is facing the Reed on the next move, so that's why I die. But I can get, like, I can do this to go a little bit further, since I'm not facing the read in this direction. Okay, I mean, the most important thing is to figure out what Superbia means. Well, it dies there. It's, I mean, I would imagine it's some kind of immunity, probably. But it's freaking well, didn't seem very immune there. It also set a pumpkin as move to try to move at twice the speed. I don't know. Help, I don't understand Superbia meaning. <laughs> also, why do they make it impossible to read that it says Rose is Rose and Push? What the hell? Freaking... I'm pissed. Get rid of that. Push. Get rid of that grass. In fact, get rid of the other grass. In fact, maybe... Maybe just don't. Maybe just don't. Wait. Wait, no, something's different here. No, if I, if I do... What the? Is this a duplication of properties property? Because... I do th this, Rose's move, but then if I add Superbia, it moves twice a turn. Did I just not notice I was moving three times a turn with move plus Superbia? I guess not. Okay, well, this allows you to do some things, although not, not many. I mean, this is still a mega gap. It's probably some text stacking nonsense then. I would imagine maybe you need to stack the Izzes and the Superbia plus move together. So, something like... No, shoot. Nope, no, no. Wrong way, fool. <laughs> Let's get that to the other side, I guess. You want to time it such that... Ugh, I'm one turn behind. I guess we have to Rose move one more. This is just one way to stack it. It might not even be the right way to stack it. But yeah, now we can stack the is's together like that. I think maybe... No, no, no. We want it to stack... I don't even know if we can do this. Maybe stack move in Superbia. Oh my gosh, this level's a nonsense hole. See, that's, that's, you know, one of the problems is that that can happen. Maybe we just put move up there. Honestly, even with this setup, though, freaking can't successfully stack move in Superbia. It's painful. Okay, you know what? I just set up this pumpkin is move, rose is the move thing, but I'm going to switch it so that I am the one that moves this instead. Uh, hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> let's, let's go back here. There we go. Yes, okay. Yes, this is, I'm pretty sure this is the only first move that's actually viable, where you stack the move in Superbia. But unfortunately, this means everyone is going at mega speed. Uh, however, it's a sacrifice that must be made. Because this isn't enough speed and we need, like, the is to stack or something. I mean, thankfully you could break the statement. Okay, we're, we're so close. I have this set up, then I press up, idle, left, 
it's almost there. Rose just in a bad spot. Gah! Here. Up. Idle to only move two. There we go. We got the stack. Perfect. Okay, and now Pumpkin is move plus Superbia, which should allow... Should allow... <clears throat> There's gotta be a way to get in there. It's so probably the rose actually wants to take that spot. I don't know, so that we can jump over this gap. So we put the rose like there because rose is push, which means that we can actually like go up there probably. Now do this somewhere. <laughs> oh, we should pick an actual location that's good for it. Like, I don't know, up here. Okay, now. Finally! There we go. So we use the rose to be able to get, you know, just a little bit closer. Then because we have a move of six, so we stack a move in Superbia, we can get over this gap. Thanks for the unsatisfyingness of the final base. Very, very appreciated. There we go. Well, there you go. Now is... Better stand for the Divine Comedy. Leave... Avaricia. Morality is Avaricia. Greed, I guess. Um, okay, now I can go through this. I guess that broke all his stop. And then, morality is done. But, it's, but wait, it was already done at the, at the beginning of the pack. What do you mean it doesn't actually finish the level? Fine, spaghetti monster. I guess we just need to do all is done. Lol, the freaking tree in the way. Alright, there we go. The Devoid Forest. Gr Greedy is not... Greedy made by Mr. Ocean. <laughs> Thanks for Ling Bing, we have finished the pack B. Thanks for playing. Mr. Ocean made the letters fan pack 3 and 4. Which... <laughs> Wait, letters fan pack isn't where Greedy is. Well, it might be. Pack doesn't have a unique enough color scheme. <laughs> anyway, um, crediting Greedy to fan pack maker instead of the pack it actually came from is very clownish. But yeah, anyway, there it is. That's uh, the, the seven deadly sins in Baba. For some reason, the freaking overworld seems like, why is the, the word base there? But um, anyway, goodbye.